with us. Uh, nice. So glad to be here. Yeah, I was going to say, what brings you out to Lingo Tango? Oh, well, I mean, I'm just celebrating so many amazing artists on stage and here to celebrate, especially Becky G. We were at the Oscars together. We got to perform We Don't Talk About Bruno for the first time on stage. And it's just amazing. People are so excited to be out in about two years. Yes. Ay, and finalmente, coming right. together for iHeart. And with the We Don't Talk About Bruno song, that song blew up. I mean, my daughter, seven years old, she absolutely loves so it. She was like singing in the house. Hey, great to live in fear, Bruno stuttering and stumbling. I can always hear him sort of muttering and mumbling. I associate him with the sound of ball and sand. Shh, shh, shh. Mommy, make me a sandwich. Oh my God. <laughs> More like mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, mommy, mac and cheese, con pollitos. <laughs> so tell me, what goes into the process of you singing? Do you have oh my goodness. I mean, I've been doing this since I was like five years old. But to me, it's so incredible to be part of an incredible team of people that came together and now is like family because we're 12 members of this incredible Madrigal family and we've become friends beyond the film. So it's so nice to share the success of this film together. And singing for me has come second nature. Acting, on the other hand, we all found out I could do, so that's great. <laughs> and working with Lee Manuel Miranda has been a gift, honestly. The directors were amazing. And did you think that it was going to blow up this much? We all knew it was going to be a success. I mean, anything Disney does is like Midas touch. But to the sheer impact? No, we were not expecting this. I mean, TikTok kids were dressing as the characters and acting, reenacting the songs. It just brought me to tears to see kids from one to 99, literally. So when I meet them in person now, and then they show me, oh my goodness, I've been dressing as this character. I love Luisa, or I love Mirabel, I love Dolores. It warms my heart because it's not just representation for Latinos, right. but for so many people that have felt like they didn't have a place, right. that if they didn't have some kind of magic, that they weren't extraordinary. But everybody has something within them that is special, even just being the essence of who you are to help others know you matter in this world. That's what this film brings. Yeah, and how, like being Hispanic, how has that like impacted it? You know, like breaking through the, that wall, that barrier, because I'm Hispanic too, so it's a big deal. It's huge. The representation that we've gotten in this film from who is in this film to us as women. Right. So many female characters empowering. And for an Afro-Latina, you know, to see somebody with curly hair and dark skin. And it's beautiful and being celebrated. That brings so much empowerment to who we are as Latinos. And I, this opens a conversation for yeah. other people to do the same, to give us an opportunity to shine. And I thank, I'm so grateful to Disney for what they've done. And I know there's more coming. I'm not supposed to tell. Yeah, I know. I'm going to ask you about that. There's going to be daughter. so much more. So tell your daughter. Okay. Just listen. listen. Just listen. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Thank you. Hi, my name is Adasa, and I play Dolores Madrigal, and you've just been buzzed.